Chapter 38, the .gitignore file. By default, Git will look for any changes in the folder holding your repository and eagerly nudge you to add and commit them. But sometimes that's not what you want. You typically want to keep track of only those files that matter and not things like dependencies, build artifacts, error logs and those spexy .ds store files on Mac. Fortunately, Git has a standard way to tell it to ignore certain files or folders, and that is through a .gitignore file. A .gitignore file is typically added to the top-level folder of a repository, although it's worth pointing out that you can also add one in a subfolder. The file is a simple text file where each line holds a name or pattern of files or folders to match. Those matching files will then be ignored. For example, if you're doing Node.js development on macOS, you should probably have at least a couple of lines in your .gitignore file, like node modules to keep your dependencies out, npm-debug.logstar to keep npm debug logs out, and .ds underscore store to keep those Mac files out. You should then add and commit this .gitignore file so that others collaborating with you can also benefit from it. You can add commands in this file by starting the line with a pound or hash sign. For more details, run man git ignore.